Um, when it comes to the economy, I guess um, I'm not necessarily optimistic at this point, um, especially um, seeing now that the House and the Senate have finally agreed to um, pass a $700 million bailout plan, uh, rescue plan. Um, but when it comes to me personally, what I see beyond reading CNN and and seeing the breaking news headliners um, that sometimes American, ordinary Americans, um, sometimes even myself, you can't really relate that huge um, global almost uh, look at the economy to your everyday life. So what I do, I try to narrow it down and see how I'm personally affected. Um, I see that I'm a college student. I work on campus. Um, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with how much I get paid and the amount of hours it's convenient for me. But when I'm driving down the street or I'm hanging out with friends or um, I decide to go home for the weekend, which is a six hour drive to Memphis, seeing, you know, a, a 389 is not necessarily something I love. And I think a couple of weeks ago, it was right at um, $5 and it, it went back down. So. When uh, I look at that, I'm just a college student. What, what about the Americans who have to take care of families? Um, they have jobs that, that aren't necessarily sufficient enough for, <laughs> for them to pay that much. Um, what about the cost of food? Now, products have to be, trans, um, I guess, transported over distances um, to, to markets or to warehouses. That automatically means that the cost of food goes up. Um, the cost of of maybe everyday appliances go up. Um, if your your microwave breaks, you know that's seventy dollars that you have to pay out of your pocket. I think that just directly affects the lives of everyday Americans when you look at um, the global per global perspective of the economy versus um, how it may feel on an everyday le level. The thing I'm looking at right now is tax cuts. How are tax cuts relevant to me? Well, I identify as a middle class. I'm a middle class family. My mother is middle class, my father is middle class, their parents were middle class. This is who I am, I'm middle class. So when Obama says, I want to cut taxes um, for uh, individuals who make $250,000 or less, that includes me, that includes my mother, that includes my neighbors, that includes everyone who drives a regular car, <laughs> everyone who, you know, mostly a lot of people who are who are trying to put themselves through college or whose, whose parents are taking out loans to put them through college. I think it's a great track. When you look at McCain's plan, he says he wants to uh, actually cut taxes for those who um, are in upper corporation, like corporation tax, but I know it's corporate taxes. He thinks that it's going to have a trickle down effect. He thinks that once you give corporations a, a break, then they see their profits increasing, they look at their products and they reevaluate them. Amount they say, well, hey, I cut pr prices here because I made this profit there. Now, what the problem with that is theoretically, it could work. Problem is, these are human beings, they see profits, they're not, not necessarily going to say, hey, I'm going to make that you know, $60 microwave $47. That's not responsibility I feel like we can give corporations at this time. I think we need regulations, we need to know that. Um, for example, when you look at gas prices, we need to know that in a time of, of uh, Hurricane Ivan or uh, Ike, I'm sorry, or if even when Katrina hit, that um, oil companies around or I guess drilling in the coastal areas won't necessarily hike up prices that we don't know are necessarily legitimate. That's where I see regulations being needed. When we have time, times of emergency and disasters, I would elect to have the government to step in to make sure that our uh, oil companies aren't increasing prices without legitimate, uh, legitimate cause. Now that's how I look at the economy. I look at gas prices. I look at everyday products, and I look at uh, how my future president uh, perceives the everyday individual. Are they passionate? Do they care?